Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, Pulp Fiction's down. We did Reservoir Dogs. Today, we're adding Jackie Brown to the lineup, man. So, we're headed back to QT Land. I'm not talking about Quick Trip, man. I'm talking about Quentin Tarantino. So, <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to join the channel over here, man. If you enjoy our content, then definitely go ahead and do that. And let's go. I'm excited to watch this movie. So, we're 2 0 with Quentin Tarantino. And I don't know if this is about to be out. You ever heard of it? No. You excited? But we are following, like, the order of the movies he, he put out. Yeah, we're going in yeah. Quentin Tarantino release. Chronological, order. yeah, so I think next will be Kill Bill. I thought it was really interesting how this man is not scared to hop into his own movies, though. No. Um, he's often, like, one of the best actors in his movies, for sure. <laughs> Mr. Pink in the last movie was the best character. Oh, yeah. 100%. No, I like Mr. Orange. Mr. Orange was cool. Yeah. 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 But anyways, man, uh, some of these characters we're getting out of Quentin Tarantino are absolutely mm -hmm. legendary. Uh, both movies, Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs stick in my mind man like i don't even know man they're just very unique movies they you guys are. know what i'm talking about so let's get into this one and i'm excited to watch it me too let's go let's go smoking sexual content alcohol use violence foul language and substance use sounds typical sounds tarantino <laughs> <laughs> at this point man i'm a tarant i'm a tarantino knight you know what i'm saying i know what to expect i understand his flavor a little bit does that not look like that place, that cold um, sauna we went to? Oh, so I'm assuming that's Jackie Brown. <laughs> yeah, she's some some airport representative. Oh, come aboard. There you go. She's that one that's like bored. That's cool. <laughs> what the heck? Tarantino was ahead of his time, wasn't he? <laughs> Chicks who love guns. That there is a tech man, a little cheap ass spray gun made out of South Miami. They retail for 380, I get them for two, sell them for eight. They advertise this tech man as the most popular gun in American crime. How's that guy Can still old? Say right. There's a little booklet that comes with it. The most popular gun in American crime. Like they proud of that shit. I love my tech nine. Baby, I really could use me some wires. That dude ain't said a word, has he? <laughs> but let me tell you though, man, when them Hong Kong flicks came out, every in the world had to have a 45 and they ain't want one they want two they want a 45 the killer had a 45 they want a 45 <laughs> thanks at least he understands marketing right right who's your partner mm. cat named mr walker runs a fishing boat out of mexico i get the merchandise to him he gets it mm. out to my cousin <laughs> all my books before i, I set toes in the drink he ain't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of now that Didn't they say he likes toes? Rolling in cash. Yeah. Got himself a yacht with all kind of high-tech navigational shit on it. <laughs> uh, up, up, up. Here we go. AK-47. The very best there is. When you absolutely, positively got to kill every mother in the room. Except no substitute. I love this gun lesson Nothing with Nick Gary. between me and my AK. <laughs> and this here is the Chinese mob. But what are they watching, though? Is this a commercial? <laughs> or did they rent this? Right up, HBO special, today. maybe? Chicks no, who love fair. guns. You never seen it? Girl, don't make me put my foot in your way. Boy, I wasn't called that when I watched it. Hello, it's for you. Oh, she's oh. a secretary. Good job. Boring, isn't it? Makes it through once. He sees Joe Gunn now. Oh, I'm impressed. He seems to know a lot. He's just repeating shitty over. He ain't any more of a gun expert than I. You want? Is that true though? <laughs> yeah, me convinced. Well, I don't know. He's watching that weird show and. <laughs> so when'd you get out of jail? Four days ago. Damn. Where at? Susanville. How long? Not two months shy, four years. Four years? For what? Bank robbery. Really? Wait a Shit, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Now that about a man in New York wants a nine millimeter Smith and Wesson model 5946. And why does he want it? Because it's the same gun that on New York undercover uses. Mm -hmm. Which cost? Lowest two. My YouTube brain is going crazy right now. I'm Tony like, Lewis started adding these motherfuckers up. Tell me this right. ain't the business to be in. <laughs> so she can just lay around all day as long as she answers the phone. <laughs> oh, I got me five M6 machine guns too. <laughs> Come straight out the Gulf War. I done already sold three of them. 20 grand a piece. Oh, wow, wow. That's good money. I'm going to make a million dollars out of this, man. I already got a half million sitting down in Mexico. When I deliver this next load, I'm gonna get me another half million. Don't worry. Then I'm out. Spend the rest of my life spending. So he's stashing money in Mexico, unless he's lying. 
And he's in the gun business. Maybe he is. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he just sells a little bit of weed. Are you going to tell me who it is? It's Beaumont. Beaumont. Beaumont, what's up? What are you doing in jail? <laughs> what the f*** are you doing that for? What, is what picture? That? <laughs> yeah. What did he go to jail for? So do you think when that girl was auditioning for the role, Quentin Tarantino made her pull out the toes? Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll toe ring. Out, I promise. The image. But that means I gotta pick. Miss Gilmore, this is Max Cherry. This is uh, Reggie's. That's right, his bail bondsman. Look, Reggie is familiar, in big right? trouble. How can I help you? Oh, and I need me a bond for ten thousand. That big mandingo looking you got up there on that picture with you. That's Winston. He works here. Damn, he's a big one, ain't he? Y'all tight? Yeah. But you was boss though, right? Yeah. Bet it was your idea to take that picture too, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want a $10,000 bond? You got to put up for collateral. You don't have to use cash. Do you have it with you? Got it right here in my Raptor bag. You have cash. <laughs> what do you need me for? Come on, man, you know how they do. Black man show up with 10,000 cash. First thing they want to know yeah, is where you get I that from. <laughs> then they gonna want to keep a big chunk of it. Start talking that court call shit. That noise, Jack. I go through you. Cost you a thousand Smart. for the bond. I can do that. Who's it for? Relative? A that was named sheep. Beaumont. They got him down in <laughs> county. Started out drunk driving, but they wrote it up as possession of a concealed weapon. Oh, a thousand is real cheap. Pistol. Ten thousand sounds that. high. What's his full name? Beaumont. That's all I know. <laughs> That's not gonna do. Did you say that Beaumont is his first or his last name? Oh, this is Max Cherry Cherry Bail Bonds. Who's this, please? Yo, yo. I need you to look up. You check out some music while you're sitting in the car. Take the right. key. Oh, are your friends? You ain't gotta do nothing, man. Just point it at the cop, push the button, you hear a little ooh ooh ooh. That mean the door's unlocked, the alarm's off. Get in. <laughs> yeah, that would be annoying if he started touching the level. I know. Life was so simple back then, though. Look how cool it looks. People actually cared about the levels. Right. <laughs> Beaumont Livingston. On his prior, he served nine months. He's working on four years probation. You know what he's on probation for? Possession of unregistered machine guns. Mm, yeah. Yikes. Now, they're going to consider that a violation of his probation. <laughs> they do consider this a violation of his probation. I need your name and address. Ordell Roby, 1436 Florence Boulevard, Compton, 90222. Ordell Roby. Sold him a machine gun. Got do you think people up. sent stuff to that address when they saw this movie? Yeah, probably. Because they had nothing better to do in 97? Mm. Everybody probably has that address <laughs> burned in their brains. <laughs> she been a factor. I'm coming up. It's open. Oh, D. Uh, <laughs> Is that Chris Tucker? Look at you and your free ass. What's up, man? Hey, Tell me, you... boy. Give me my. Up. I know you were coming by. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> my name. Come on in, man. No, no. Come no, on, no, man. No, let's uh, celebrate. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm really supposed to be somewhere. Matter of fact, I was kind of hoping you could run with me. What you mean? <sighs> you know, man, I hate to be the kind of nigga to do a favor and then bam, hit the for a favor in return, but <laughs> I guess to be that kind of nigga. What? What are you talking I need a favor. That requires me to go out tonight? Just a bit. Oh, oh no. You know what? I plan on going no place tonight, man. It is late as hell, man. Oh. You home, because I spent $10,000 to get your ass home. Right. Huh. This is going to be a big favor, then. You might lock <laughs> that <laughs> junkyard dog right. back up. I need some help. You can help me out. Now, come on. Go on in the house. Throw some shit on. Come on. That sounds like he had did me that one day. <laughs> she said, Tommy, you're crazy. <laughs> hey, man, I'm I'm gonna tell him I'm going in the trunk to show him the goods. When I open the trunk, you pop oh, up. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> you want something to get in the trunk? You ain't finna shoot nobody. I ain't saying nothing about you shooting nobody. <laughs> you must be out of your mind if you think I'm finna get in this dirty ass trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but I ain't getting no goddamn trunk. I can't believe you do me like that. Do you like what, man? I just ain't climbing in no goddamn dirty ass trunk, man. I got a problem with small places. No, well, I got a problem with spending ten thousand dollars. Man, I know. Do you, you think I wanted to out. spend ten thousand dollars on your Of course you yes did, no? man. But you, you're getting in but the trunk. But that's the only way I can help you, right? So that's what I did. Now look, man. <laughs> you catch right. off guard with this. Look here. Look here. <laughs> <laughs> when we get through <laughs> with Tisco Reyes, me and you go to Roscoe Chicken and Waffle on me. I feel like he's going to have to shoot now. somebody. That's it's not going to go well. Smothered in gravy and onions. Nobody would want to get a Roscoe's chicken and waffle more than me. Spring. Trust me. <laughs> that sounds fire. That's a good eating. Man. Exactly how long I got to be in this mother. <laughs> hey, you said 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, my hit my head. Your pony tail 
Whew, that was funny. Yeah, if he got me out of jail, I'd just be like, you know what? I'm going back in. <laughs> I'd be hiding from him. He asked for them real favors. Oh, God, he's putting the OJ glove on. <laughs> you got to hide in a trunk <laughs> with a <the> shotgun. <laughs> Man, he looks kind of for real, don't he? He might have lied to buddy. He looks professional. This shot's crazy right here. It really this is. This is why I like Tarantino movies, man. The slow moving camera. Mm -hmm. That's such a good shot. And it's like the same scene. Like it was just on that road. Now it's over here on this road. That whole scene right there with Chris Tucker was improvised so well. It was so good. No. Dude. He really tricked my man. Oh my God. I know why. Why did he though? shoot him for? Yeah, why? And why did he even tell him to hold the gun and stuff? I guess he shot him because, you know, he's got court cases about the guns that he's providing. So he just went ahead and got rid of them. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong. And he even got him out. That was the saddest thing because I instantly loved that guy. I was hoping he'd come back. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she's empty in her pocket. She's. <laughs> what are those speakers over there or whatever? Hello. Well, you know, I'm just doing that thing I do, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Louis, babe, it's so dead. Oh, I'm just gonna go pee. <laughs> okay. They always have to use the bathroom in Tarantino movies, too. Right. Well, guess where I am? I don't know. I'm in the cozy confines of an Oldsmobile parked right outside Simone's house. Oh, you're outside. Man, uh -oh. get him involved. shoot him. I'm assuming that's like his real friend, Who's right? Not? They started out the movies together? Yeah, I think so. Who's Boma? A employee I had to let go. Hmm. They always gotta shoot someone in a car. You know, ain't no goddamn way he can do ten years. Yeah, he's gonna ask for a deal and start <laughs> you know that. singing. And start peeping. And you know, Beaumont's gonna do anything Beaumont can to keep from doing them ten years, including telling the federal government any and every mother thing about my black. Now that, my friend, the clear-cut case of him or me. Let me put it that way. It's completely understandable, uh -huh. actually. And he he did ten grand to do all that. Like that's a lot. <laughs> Hey, you think I'm gonna let a little cheese eating like this f that up? Man, you best cheese think eating. again. Boy, I let that happen. Oh, because you're right. <laughs> head and ten look just like it. You understand what I'm saying? So we on the same page then. Yeah, follow. My name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the white guy did it, but the black guy kept his hand together. So I just kept my hand together and let you do this. Man. Just brown. Hi, I'm Detective Mark Dargis, LAPD. Can I ask what you have in that bag? The usual stuff. You know, I'm a flight attendant for Cabo Air. Can I uh, help out here? Who's this? Man, you better back up if you Sorry, get shot. This is Special Agent Ray Nicolette with alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Oh, Sir, Mark. Really? <laughs> oh, that was just a good <laughs> Samaritan. Oh, there Would we go. Would you mind if we just took a look in that bag? A little good cop, bad cop. Oh, yeah. Now, what's in the bag? <laughs> well, she yeah, moves from place to place on the airplane, so she could have anything. Oh, don't look in there. Hey, can I look in this envelope? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Some serious cash. So let's take a look here at the file on Jacqueline Brown. Cut to 13 years later, you're 44 years of age, you're flying for the little shuttle fucking piece of shit. Mexican airline that there is. Well, you make what? Thirteen thousand dollars a year. I make sixteen thousand plus benefits. You've been in the service industry nineteen years, and all you make is sixteen thousand plus benefits. Didn't exactly set the world on fire, did you, Jackie? Jeez. Now they're being those Jackie, disagreeable a human beings they're talking about. Four <laughs> good ones, more like it. Hey, Jackie, do you know a guy named Beaumont Livingston? Yeah. No. Because he knows you. They found him in the trunk of a car this morning. Shot. Twice. Once in the chest. Once in the head. This is how she connects. She don't know Beaumont. Yeah, she's moving that money for him. Beaumont knows you. <clears throat> Look, Miss Brown, we don't give a f about you. <laughs> you know who we want. If you cooperate, you tell us what we want to know. We'll help you get out of this. So let's start again now, shall we? Is he trying to get her to Wouldn't talk Mexico or hate him? Right. And 
who in America were you bringing it to? I'm not saying another goddamn word. Oh, so people in Mexico was buying it from them. That makes sense. <clears throat> it's smart to move it through a flight attendant. I'd like your uh, permission to look through this again so we'll know exactly how much we're talking about here. Sure, go ahead. Didn't Pablo Escobar do that? I think. I think he did. Well, right, let's see what else is in there. But not a flight attendant, Mine? like just planes, right? I think a lot of people's move stuff through flight attendants because they don't have their bags checked. Be yeah. Case, my diet shit. Let's see what else is in there. Here. Uh oh. Yeah. That looked like some cocaine. Man, you put it in there. What's this? I don't know. What's this? Is she in jail? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. So basically, bro, like everything was cool until they found some drugs. <laughs> and it was like, nah, you going down now. Nope. The guns is whatever. <laughs> Brown. Case the money, whatever. The international gun trade is secondary to this crack, or whatever the hell that is. The charge Go. is possession of narcotics with the intent to distribute. How does your client plead? Uh, your Honor, she wishes to stand mute. Very well. Effective with the intent to distribute? Varga. That was personal use. I know, that was no, not enough honest. to distribute. Right. Distribute to who? Some uh, You were the arresting mouses? officer in this case? That's correct, Your Honor. Some mountains. <laughs> <laughs> grasshoppers. I'm gonna set bond at ten thousand and set the date of August twenty first for the prelim. If I would have done that in court, man, they would have told me that if I interrupt court again, they're gonna lock my ass up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. He's in there. Please don't shoot her. Uh uh uh. I didn't hear you wash your hands. <laughs> Comfortable? So yeah. annoying. Those oops, I just come on in. See you there. Why? Got some more business for you. Oh, yeah? What'd he do? She, an airline stewardess, got caught coming back from Mexico with some blow. They set her bond this afternoon at $10,000. Now, I'm figuring you can take that $10,000 you owe me from Beaumont, move it over to the studio. So she was bringing product from Mexico for the buyer in America to try. That's why. Yeah, man. It was they, a distribute. But, uh, you know her last name? Mm -hmm. Brown. Jackie Brown. What does she do for you? Does she do anything for me? She my friend. My friends get in trouble. I like to help them out. Beaumont work for you. This you and me talking, you know, like lawyer, client thing, and you can't tell nothing I say to you? You're not my client till you get busted and I bind you out. Well, uh, we ain't got no, uh, what you call that shit? Confidentiality, Confidentiality, yeah. Is white guilt supposed to make me forget I'm running a business? That was a term back then? All right. I'd still be saying that they planted it. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Got you look thousand bucks. <laughs> he was like He's seven bucks. He had like seven bucks right there. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? <laughs> it was five. Anita picking up Brown, Jackie. Max, here she comes. So basically, he's a good bondsman. <laughs> he's the best bondsman. Hey, this reminds me a lot of Breaking Bad, but I don't want to say too much because I know you haven't made it that far. He'll get you out, boy. Not that we're watching it. We started watching it back in the day, but we're going to restart that series on the channel. <clears throat> Saw. So, she don't know about him. I seen a glimpse of them. Oh, you know who that is? Oh, do you? Oh, you did in the in just the... just a glimpse. Oh, okay. But he was a really good lawyer in the show. Kind of like he's a good bondsman. I'm Max Cherry. Bail bondsman. I could give you a lift home if you like. Straight game, straight. They to come the and point. pick you up and stuff. That's hey. nuts. I didn't know that. You know how there used to be like door to door salesman. Mm -hmm. That was a door to door bondsman, baby. Out in them streets, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was in them streets. You're really a bail bondsman. <laughs> well, what do you think I am? I showed you my card in there. Can I see your ID? You serious? She yeah. Just no more I should have been seen that ID before I was even in the car with you. Yeah, he could be like a like somebody sent there to you take her out bond. and take or take her to a trafficking agency. She's like, great. Now Ordell's gonna need a favor. So he's definitely the type to just get infatuated, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so he picked up um, the other guy like that too. Yeah. <laughs> Beaumont. Look, it's hot in there. You got any cigarettes in here? You won't find any cigarettes mm. in there. Can we stop and get cigarettes? Sure. He's not shy though, is he? Mm -mm. He's like, he's scrambling his brain to no look for a spot. I quit three years ago. Gain weight? 10 pounds. I take it off and put it back on. <laughs> That's why I don't quit. I've actually heard people use that reasoning before. <laughs> Maybe they got it from this movie. So far they told me if I cooperate, you know, I'll get probation. Maybe. 
I'd say that if they try you and convict you, you won't get more than a year and a day. Now that's state time, prison. And the object is like no jail time at all. That's always the objective, right? Yeah. I, I think so. That's my objective. But that's not what this is about. They knew about the money. They even knew the exact amount. What did they want? They did know? know the exact amount. I was gonna say they gave that. Gave them the money, knew I was giving it to. And they found this guy in the trunk of a car with his head blown off. They said it was him who told them about me. That would be Omar Livingston. That happened to me before, y'all, for real. How do you know about him? I wrote him on Monday. Yeah, you should probably explain that. <laughs> dude, one time, man, I sold a car to this dude. He came, picked up the car, signed over the title. Well, he never went and like registered the title or anything, man. He never registered the car. And the next thing you know, they're calling me from Atlanta talking about they don't found a dead dude in my car. He's like, hey, they're like, hey, Mr. So-and-so. I was like, hey, how you doing? They're like, hey, I found your car. I was like, my car? He's like, yeah, I found it down in so-and-so. There was a body in it. And I was like, what the heck? It was a whole ordeal, man. But I basically had to go investigate to try to figure out who the dude was that I sold the car to. And it was not easy because he like deleted everything. <laughs> but the dude that deleted everything was the dude who ended up getting shot in the trunk. So that was like a whole thing. I was like, bro, there's no way on earth I'm going to go to prison for this. Because I was thinking, like, what if, right? Like a frame job? I wasn't that stressed out about it. With my sweetheart's paw, one of her brothers was a bad outlaw. Sing it, Johnny. Tennessee <laughs> stud. <laughs> I don't know this song. I just read yeah. it. Do that thing you do in country the music. The sun <laughs> and his eyes were green. Come on, boys. <laughs> I guess you pick out its name. Uh oh. Who's it gonna be this time? It's glove time. I know, right? How you doing, Miss Jack? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Mm -hmm. No twist, fellas. It is what we thought it was. He'll bail you out, and then he'll bail you out of life. <laughs> you got some booze? I got some vodka in the freezer. Got some OJ? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, why don't you be a good hostess and a screwdriver? You can buy a screwdriver. <laughs> Oh. He said you got some OJ on purpose. Sure. Oh, I thought it was because he wanted a screwdriver. Yeah, that was a reference to OJ Simpson. They don't reference yeah. the lawyer. He did it in 97? You gonna thank me? For what? Who the hell you think got your ass out of jail? The same guy that put my ass in jail. Thanks a lot. Hey, you got caught with blow. That's your business. <laughs> <laughs> Bet they asked you a whole shit load of questions about it, huh? Mm -mm. And mm -hmm. all that money? They asked. And you said... I want to talk to my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> well, they already know. I thought they already know who he is and everything. Why they picked me up? Mm -hmm. They were waiting for me. True. They knew about the money. and They knew the exact amount. They looked at it they far away and they're like, "Yeah, oh, how they happen to come by this information?" Beaumont Livingston. I knew it. They even asked me if I knew Mr. Walker. Yeah. I didn't tell him anything about it. My name come up. You ain't say nothing about me. How many times does she got to say it? Oh, that's Dang. mighty noble of you. You ain't giving me no kind of answer. That's my story, and I'm sticking You're with it. You scared of me? You got any reason to be nervous around me? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. What the hell's wrong with you, Jackie? Shut the f*** up, and don't you move. She was so close <laughs> to getting shot. Uh, no, let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. Now, sooner or later, they're going to get around to offering me a plea deal, and you know that. That's why you came here to kill me. <laughs> I ain't come over here oh, to no, kill you. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Now, I'll forgive you. If I don't, I'll go to jail. Uh -huh. I want $100,000 in the escrow account in my name. Oh. If I'm convicted up to a year or put on probation. Now, if I have to do more than a year. Yeah, things going to grow. <laughs> you pay another $100,000. Gee. So a year? She's cool with that. So she ain't scared of time, basically. She just wants the money. Yeah. If I can do that. <laughs> that scene was so crazy. Because they were like, the cops tomorrow she flipped the script, didn't she? They became friends, like within the scene. <laughs> hey, it's about money at this point. No feelings. You want your gun back? Come on in, I'll get it for He's like, man, I really like this woman, but I don't know if I can relate. Max, look, I am so sorry about this. You know, I was afraid to ask to borrow it. Cause I was, I was afraid you would say no. I mean, you'd have to. Would you like some coffee? No. <laughs> if you're having some? I am. Come on in. Why don't you make yourself at home? Oh, and she's just, like acting like a lady now. See? The bail bonds him. Let her borrow his gun. Get a chance to use it. I don't get new stuff that often. Yeah, she didn't. If she didn't catch up to CD, she's never gonna get in the digital age. <laughs> This is so 90s-ish. I gave my heart and soul to you, girl. 
Then she's playing the love music, mm -hmm. sending the little signals. It's very possible that Ordell's killed somebody. You realize that? Well, I ain't going back to jail, and I ain't doing that probation thing. <laughs> <laughs> she said, bring it on. Right. I ain't dumb enough to jump in a trunk. <laughs> he said, you're going to surprise him. <laughs> Max, how do you feel about getting old? He said, I know. You look great. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now, what can we do for you? I need permission to leave the country so I can keep my job. We can look into that. I need it tomorrow. If I don't show up for work tomorrow, I'm fired. That's a good employee you know right there. Want. If I'm working, I can help you. Help us do what, Jackie? Help you Take get on down. your Roby. So now you do know he never asked if I did or not. So she's all in at this point. Well, she's talking. How can you help us? Well, hey, I'll do anything I can to help you get his ass short of wearing a wire. Mm -hmm. And in return for my help, I need permission to leave the country on immunity. Well, you don't want much, do you? Can right. you do can it, get it done? She's just a stewardess. Right. Get it done. Read the paper. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Read the paper? Death. Wow. Death. Nani Vitali, the dangerous criminal. <laughs> He's already killed a friend. Hey, girl. Hola. Hey. And she got off the couch once. <laughs> hey, looks like somebody got some new clothes. Yeah, we did a little shopping. You know, I couldn't have my boy running around looking like no bum. He still looks like he's bowling. <laughs> Why is she there, though? What does she offer? Well, don't she answers her. the phone. Okay. Yo, Jackie, what's up? Is she off right now? I think she just sucks. <laughs> she forgot to tell him about the message. Doesn't he have a bowling style? <laughs> yeah. Or like maintenance, man. He looks like the damn guy who runs the illegal bowling league. <coughs> in the, you know what I'm saying? Uses a certain kind of grease on the bowling alleyways. <laughs> get a cheat to rig it in his finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look here, Lewis. I got to run out for a little while. So, uh, if you like getting high so much, why don't you hang out here with me? I'll watch a little TV. <laughs> Yo, Lewis. Catch you later, man. Okay, later. Okay, later. See you later, dude. <laughs> Is that a cassette store? I think so. That's wild, dude. I wish I could go back to those times. Just one time I wish I could go back to Ingles and walk around the dang movie spot. Yeah. Where they used to sell movies at Ingles. How crazy is that? Look at that airplane. Now they sell movies at Ingles. It's just one little rack when you want to check out. Mm. It's got like a, you know, Planet of the Apes or something <laughs> when you want to check out. Jackie Jack. It's a fancy bar. Hey. Damn. You think anybody followed you? I don't think so. But oh my don't god. Because they already know I'm meeting you. How the fuck you know that? I told them. You told <laughs> They know I'm delivering for you. I told them about the half meal. They could give a fuck about it. All they want to do is catch your ass with guns. So I said, look, you want proof he's getting paid for selling them? Let me bring in the money. And they said, yes. <laughs> so what's the play here? I make two deliveries. The first with 10,000, you know, like a dry run. They watch it, see how it works. Then the second delivery, I come in with a half meal. Mm -mm -mm. See, that's too much exposure. I ain't going nowhere near that money. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. I told him you never pick up the money yourself. You always send someone, and I never know who it is. Mm, that's a good idea. If you listen, it's a damn good idea. Okay. Now, the first time I do it, they're looking around. They see me hand the 10000 to someone. Who? I don't know, a friend of yours. Like a woman? If you want. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking a woman. Uh-oh, it's going to be that one girl. If they're going to let you go, how come we don't bring all the cash in the first time? Because <laughs> I don't trust him. Now, the next trip, when I bring in the half meals, it's going to look like I'm doing the same thing as I did before. You don't? No, I hand it to someone else first. And they followed the wrong one, thinking she bringing the money to me. That's the idea. But we're going to need two women. Mm -hmm. Can you cover that? Yeah, yeah, I got the women covered. That one girl might get well, too high and get the plan, though. Yeah. <laughs> the Dalai Lama, the food court. I can do that. Can I ask you a question? Oh, man. Come on, you ain't gonna get serious on me while we're in here chilling now, is you? No, it's just about <laughs> Melanie. I know Melanie. That gonna be f***ing you two minutes after I'm out the door. <laughs> no, so she ain't your girlfriend. Is that what you thought? No, I wasn't sure. No. But you f***ed anyway, though, huh? <laughs> well, I hope you felt appropriately guilty afterwards. Afterwards, I did. <laughs> 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 but I mean, but like you know what what but what is she? Like? You know she just wanted to be I got set up. I got mail over in Hermosa Beach, and I rent this little place for Simone over in Compton where you staying. Mm. About four <laughs> blocks away, I 
got this young 19-year-old country girl named Sharonda. I found her on a bus stop two days out of Georgia, barefoot country as a chicken coop. Took her to mm -hmm. my place in Compton, told her it was Hollywood. You told <laughs> She believed you. Hell oh, yeah. Guy, ain't it? The bondsman. Hi, Jackie. Yep. It's Max. I was just calling to find Max. out how everything went today at ATF. Max. Uh, if you want to call me, my home number is 915 9302. That's so funny. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Hope everything's well. Bye bye. And a message. <laughs> Well, the money's gonna be in the Del Almo shopping bag, all right? I get some food, sit down here in the food court, then your girl comes in. Oh, did you find somebody yet? Mm-hmm. Who? What'd you care? All right, so we straight, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna roll up over here and check out this shirt I was looking at. Catch it. <laughs> did you see the bondsman? I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna run mm -hmm. into Jackie, right? Mm -hmm. What's the odd, right? Max! Max! Hey. Well, hello. Hey, surprise. So, what are you up to? Just catching a movie. What'd you see? What the fuck is up with this? <laughs> <laughs> I called you last night. I know, I got your message. Ray wanted to have dinner with me so we can, you know, talk about the sting we're plotting. That's what he calls it, a sting. He's been, he's been real nice. You think he's got a thing for you? <laughs> Maybe. But I'm thinking it's something more like he wants the money for himself. Has he hinted around? You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. He's just a young guy having fun being a cop. I know the type, trust me. He's more interested in Ordell than he is in the money. If there's anything suspect, it'll be cutting corners to get the conviction, but he wouldn't walk off with the money. It's evidence. And what about you, Matt? If I saw an opportunity to walk away with a shopping bag full of money, would I take it? I know where it came from. It's not like it's somebody's life savings. Nah. It wouldn't even be missed. It wouldn't even be missed. Half a million dollars will always be missed. You're avoiding the question, Matt. Okay, sure. I guess I'd be tempted. Would you take it? Especially now since I'm getting out of the mail box. No. God no. Why? A lot of reasons. I guess the main one would be. You can uh, with the one I open the rest of your life. I'm tired of it. Bro, if I had half a million, I'd, I'd literally just hide the cash and just use it at the grocery store. <laughs> you think she's saying because I'm I'm low key planning on doing it? Are you gonna come with me? Right. That's the vibe I'm getting. Potentially. Because. The cops are trying to double cross him. He's trying to double cross the cops, but she might just mess around and double cross everybody. Yeah. The movie's about her. It is, yeah. She is the title. Look at these small guys. Right. This guy looks like an X Man. How's your flight? <laughs> yeah. Fine. Just carrying a flight bag. I am now removing from the flight bag a manila envelope. <clears throat> the envelope contains. Let's see. More cash. In the middle of the envelope. Baby, this is ten thousand dollars, right? Can you count this for me? The subject of the bag is uh, purple. Fine, the bag's what white. The image is purple. purple. <laughs> <laughs> People are really orderly in there. Mm -hmm. They're a lot more wild now. They're just enjoying their time. She has a gold to smoke in every building. Jack and Brown never put them down. No, have a seat. Oh, what'd you get? The taco? Put the bag on the floor, okay? Under the table next to mine. So, what's your name? Sharonda. Sharonda. Oh, that's, that's the one that works for her now. <laughs> Max, you said it yourself. Ray wants Ordell. The money won't convict him. Guns will. You're rationalizing. Well, that's what you do to go through with the sh You start. You rationalize. I can do it, Max. I know I can. I just can't do it without you. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Excuse me, babe. Uh, 
Do you know what town it is? My well, man ain't got no lot. He just spectated all of that. Is that the second woman right there? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So that's how she did it. She just outsmarted everybody. Wow. Oh, and he he's the only person that knows. Wow. So he got to experience that whole charming little moment. That's why he's smiling like that. He said, that's my woman right there. Oh. Uh, Jackie Brown. That was wise. That poor lady. <laughs> oh, we got the license plate. She handles the cops, right? <laughs> Good work. Oh, that's that song that she was playing. He's putting up an effort, though. It's a good song. What? Jackie Brown. Hey, who's in there? Nate Diaz? What? <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to go out for a little oh. while while I work this. Oh, did he double cross her? Yeah, Is I that thought what it was? she did that. I yeah. thought she did too. Oh, so she was unaware. She right, so was he double crossed her. her. Right. So he didn't really trust her. I can't blame him. I thought she should have did the same. I'm sorry. I'm about ready for a refill. You sure I can't tempt you a little bit? Come on. Come on. But it was smart because the cops went after the Sharonda, so they didn't know him. This time, you're going to get Sharonda Billings to back. Right. The same one Simone gives me. Okay? Now, Simone and I make the switch in Billingsley. Yeah, she, she knows what I look like, right? She's seen you with Sharonda, remember? All right. Now, okay. Simone going to meet you in the dress department, right? Right. Designer clothes. Right, 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 right. Place y'all trash clothes. It's a fitting room. <laughs> Big sign over the door. You can't miss it. You're going to take the Billingsley bag Simone gives you and give it to Sharonda. Right. Okay? And Simone gonna wait, and she gonna peep out the dressing room, wait on you to give her the sign that ain't nobody watching. She gonna leave the stove, get in the car, mission accomplished. So, where you gonna be doing all this? Probably you know, easy if you, you gotta got watch little, my ass. I'm gonna be in a titty bar out of town, waiting on Louis yeah. to call me, tell me everything's cool. Just to show him the money at the airport. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna show him the whole amount. He'll see 50000 And where's the rest of it? In the bag underneath. That's risky. Yeah, it really he is. He didn't before. He's expecting to see 50000 And there it is, on top. Oh. Might look under. If he finds it, I'll say Mr. Walker put so it in. Basically, if that man's and not in a hurry, you might be screwed. <laughs> you get nothing. Well, they don't like to count yeah, it. Man, I'm jail. That's why you don't make a move until I come out of that fitting room. Wearing a dress. Well, a suit. There's this one I have my eye on. That was cute. <laughs> Layer one. <laughs> she put a seatbelt on it. I don't know, miss. That's a pretty heavy bag you got. We're in the second zero with a green felt tip pen. Oh, that's what oh. it means to mark bills. <laughs> thought it was somewhere complicated. I thought it was people just putting their political stance. What? Put one of these in my pocket. What, putting that dot on it? Uh-huh. I'm voting for the dot party. <laughs> I'm going to do something stupid. How can I do anything stupid when I'm being watched every second? You know, I'm right. pointing that out. For sure. I like trying to look at all the businesses. Off of Zebo? <laughs> She's been outsmarting Ordell. What's that girl off Lost, babe? What's the girl's name? Shannon. Wonder? Shannon. She's like Shannon from Lost. <laughs> he said, you know, Shannon didn't get stoned every second. Just vibing. But she probably would have. She wasn't trapped in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most positive street life song I've ever heard. <laughs> street life. They make they make it seem like a carnival, don't they? <laughs> like the street life. <laughs> yeah. Rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> 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 it just sounds so funky. <laughs> I like it. I'm having fun. This movie is kind of charming. It is in a way, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, charming and it's cool to watch a stewardess move money, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. Ugh, I hate over aggressive um, salesman. I think I like that. I'd <laughs> like to ladies. try it on. Oh, she didn't need your help. Oh, you look nice. <laughs> Feels like she's running for office. Yeah. 
Is, is she having a moment of self-reflection? Right, that who am I moment. <laughs> Melanie? Jack. Hey, girl, what's up? You betcha. <laughs> I put a cherry on top. Yeah, the high scenes. Like... All I gotta do is pray the bag don't rip. Right. That would be just my luck. <laughs> She's gotta go. <laughs> $267. That's not bad. By the way, someone left a, a bag of beach towels in the last dressing room. Mm -hmm. This is so stressful. She might not get away because it's this Tarantino movie. <laughs> Man, where the hell is he? <laughs> I feel just as lost as her, honestly, right now. Hey, Ray, come out! Wherever you are, Ray! Whoa. Melanie, she burst into the dressing room. She took all the money and ran out. Mm. Come on. Goddamn, we're late. Come on. There you go. Should've Taking that advice. Really cool. Just let go. Straight up, bitch. <laughs> 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 this force. <laughs> Look at this. So nice. Oh, we saw that moment. Mm hmm. <laughs> She's so obvious. Knock it off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Jeez. How did you ever rob a bank? Hey, when you rob banks, did you have to look for your car then too? No wonder you went to jail. <laughs> this aisle, Lewis? Is it? Lewis? <laughs> don't seem sure to me. Hey, don't say... Don't say anything else, okay? Keep your mouth shut. Well... I mean, don't say one f***ing word, okay? What? I mean, she taunting him and taunting him. Unexpected. Dang. There's no way he would try to run off with the money, is there? <laughs> Like, all by himself? He ain't gonna betray his boy. I don't know. He just killed Melanie like it was no problem. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you can tell he's been kind of repulsed by her the whole time. Hey, it looks cool on me, too. It looks great. Wow, all that yeah, happened when crazy. she was in the... Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I love these timelines with Tarantino. Yeah. I think I like cash or charge. Cash. Oh, they're just replaying it from his point of view. <laughs> $267. Uh, by the way, someone uh, left a bag of beach towels in the last dressing room. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Excuse me? My wife thinks she left a bag of beach towels in the fitting room. That's so yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think they're there. Go get them. There's nobody in there. Last stop. Good thing it's on a bomb. There it is. I guess we're about to get the answer to that question. Would he take it and run? Got it. Appreciate ya. Man, I think I'd have had me a replacement bag. <laughs> I'd have changed out the bag. Cause that bag's not purple with the weird stuff on it. Right. I feel like he just got set up because she said, told that lady for a reason. What do you mean? About the bag. She told the lady for a reason that she left the beach towels. Driving over the night, well, he just said that so that way when he came to get the bag, she wouldn't question it. She said, hey, someone left it. And then he's like, hey, my wife said she left it. And she was like, oh, yeah. Oh, so she knew she the lady wasn't going to go check. Yeah. Okay. She, she started running a f mouth about, you know, because like, I couldn't remember where the car was parked right away when we came out. So then she got on me about that. Is it this aisle, Lewis? Is it that aisle, Lewis? It's totally <laughs> Oh, my nerves, man. So what? You left it in? I, I shot him. <laughs> oh. Told her the truth? <laughs> I mean, he told him the truth. You shot Melanie? Right, Twice. I thought he was pulling something slick, but he just lost his temper. You could talk to uh -huh. her? How can you talk to her? You, know, you couldn't just hit her? <laughs> you shot her? Twice? <laughs> Twice. 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 Twice
twice? Is she dead? I, I, pretty much. What do you mean, pretty much, Lewis? That ain't no fing answer. Yes or no? Is she dead? I, I think so. Yeah. You think so? Tell you me, Lewis. She, she's dead. But where'd you shoot her? In the chest and the stomach. Oh. If he had to do it, then he had to do it, man. <laughs> what we he don't want is that surviving on us. On <laughs> anybody but that woman. <laughs> Not surviving on us. It's all books, bro. Mm -hmm. Lewis. Nah. That's what I'm telling you. What? Where's the rest of it? Oh. I was just switched the whole time. I don't know. Maybe 40, maybe less. You said 550. Yeah, so you light, ain't you? You light about half a million ten. Oh. Look, man, that's the bag she came out with. She never put a hand in it. Neither did I. Came out of where? Out of the, the fitting room. It went down exactly the way it was supposed to. How long was she in there? A minute. Not, not even a minute. She came right out. Hey, I know How the f*** set me. You, man. Ask you, f*** you, brother. How could you ask me that. I'd be thinking the same thing. He might shoot him. Pull the call, man. Hell no. No, no keep grabbing, brother. I'm gonna speed up. You shoot me, me if you want to. <laughs> then you gonna die. It's Jackie Brown. Well, you know, if she got it, well, why didn't she take it all? Oh, I'd be sure and ask that before I blow her brains out. <laughs> what if she gave the money to somebody else first before Melanie even went in the dressing room? Uh-huh. Kind of right, but not really. You're backwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. You know what? What? Uh, you know... You know who I saw in the dress department? Maybe he's with his wife or his girlfriend. It's a big place. Louis, a lot Louis, of people Louis. Louis. Never... You go tell me who you saw? Yeah, Max Cherry. Max Cherry! <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's sweet on her, too. Yeah. You see Max Cherry in the dress department where we... Man, look at me when I'm <laughs> talking to you! Didn't think nothing you see about that it. That was in the goofy. Justice Department, when we about to get a half million dollars, and you don't think nothing about it no, being why? there? Do they know each other? Hell yeah, they know each other. He bonded the ass out of county. Well, how am I <laughs> supposed to know you that? You know he a bail bondsman, don't you? You know all them motherfuckers crooked as a barrel of snakes, don't you? Why should I think something <laughs> weird if I don't know nothing about that? I don't want to hear no excuses, man. I ain't Lewis. giving you excuses, man. And I'm telling you, I'm giving you fucking reason. But Let me tell you the reason, motherfucker. The reason is your ass ain't worth the well, no you, more. You <laughs> don't shoot him. Back off, man. Mm, I knew it was coming, man. Mm. What the f happened to you, man? Your ass used to be beautiful. Oh, he did that for Melanie? Yeah. That guy walking didn't notice the gunshot in the van? He said, keep him moving around these parts. <laughs> yeah, he did, <laughs> didn't he? Bro, he looks crazy with a ponytail, though. You didn't tell me you were going shopping. I thought I did. Yeah, you didn't. Dang. Yeah, he's mad. He looks like he should be on Jurassic Park. Cause he's got a white t-shirt. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and I got all that shit hanging over my head like you got hanging over yours. I don't know. I'd go shopping later. I got there early. You see, I've had my eye on this suit that I wanted. And, well, I'm just gonna go wait, try wait, it. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Yeah, wait, 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 just wait a minute. Just wait a f***ing second, all right? Let me finish. I got there early. The idea was to try on the suit, see if I If I did, they would wrap it up, then I would put back on my uniform because Sharonda is expecting me to wear it. Meet Sharonda, give her the shopping bag with the $50,000 and go home. Yeah, you didn't do that. Because I couldn't. Ray, I swear Melanie burst in, she grabbed the bag, and then somebody killed her. Oh, oh, wow. Perfect. Yes, the setup. <laughs> He's like... Look, it says no, no smoking. smoking. Yeah. <laughs> She's in control right now. What was I supposed to do if something happens? You didn't tell me how to do that, did you? Oh, yeah, it's Ooh. your fault. You have no idea what happened with $50,000. You're clueless about the money, right? You have no idea what the 50 grand I have no idea. None. None. You have no idea. You no. don't know it could have gone here, could have no, gone I there. Don't, I don't know. know nothing. Not a clue. Not I don't idea. have an idea no. where the mother Not is. Not a little idea, Not maybe. Even. Yeah, if a mother make you happy. Oof. Yeah, put it right there. I'll do it. <laughs> You're going to fail it. I sure hope you didn't do anything stupid, Jackie. Not at all. I gotta talk to you for a second. Oh, another associate is dead. They're gonna think the man took the money and mm -hmm. he actually has the money. So they're gonna assume that he actually has his money. This money, though. Louis Carr is dead. LAPD found him shot in the car at night. And we lost Rudell. I thought you were f***ing watching him. We were. And we lost him. So what's gonna happen now? We'll pick up Rudell. We've got three murders we can link him to. And we got you. What about me? Yeah, what about me? You haven't told me about. You know what? That's between you and Rondell. I've got one thing to say. You better hope we find him before he finds you. 
You looking to get shot? Fuck your ass in the house. Man, he hasn't even changed his shirt. He still got blood on him. Yeah. Now, that's repugnant. He's no, like, I like this shirt. What you doing? How'd you find me anyway? Winston find you. How'd he find me? That's what he does. He finds people that don't want to be found. Oh. So she want to give me my money, huh? Yeah. She wants to give it to herself. And she wants to collect the 10%. She also wants to explain why. Oh, and I want to hear that shit, too. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> put your hands on your head. Man. Why don't you tell me why? Jackie didn't trust Melanie. She already tried to get Jackie to go in with her, split the half million amongst themselves. It's a good story. What she mm -hmm. did was take quite a risk to make sure you got your money. And you helped her, didn't you? All I did was walk out with it. In a way, yes. Don't worry about her. She don't even know you're here. So mm -hmm. Where my money at? My office. Where Jackie? Been there since Thursday night. And she wanted to talk to me. How come she wasn't home? She's afraid. Well, Jackie's at your office, huh? She by herself? Winston ain't there, is he? She's all alone. All right. I call over there. She better answer the phone. She will. I'll be here. See you in a bit. Hold up, home. Give me the key. I'll drive. I was gonna be like, nope. Pretty good at that. I might would have clipped my nails first though. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't get stuck? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you like the Delphonics. It's a recent. They're pretty good. A recent acquirement to my music collection. She's over here just smoking in the dark. Or so he has no idea, though, that he's about to walk in and get shot. Right. I mean, assuming that's what she does. <clears throat> I mean, based off her little practice she going on. My money's in that office, right? Oh. Go get it for me. Yeah. Listen, I go walking in there. Now Winston or anybody else is in there. You the first mother to get shot. You understand me? Yeah. All right. Let's roll. What's gonna happen? Man, I hope as soon as he walks in the door, she just unloads on him. And it's him? No, it ain't gonna be him. <laughs> yeah, don't be herky jerking up in here. No herky jerking. It's so dark in here. Say, hey, Jackie, that you? Yeah. Damn, girl. What you doing sitting up in here in the dark? Bray's got a gun! Dang, why aren't the cops there? So she really was working with him. You did? Yeah, he did. Wow. Remember when you said you hope you get him before he gets me? Mm-hmm. Well, you did. Thanks. Shout out. What a gunslinger. What a crazy life that man lived. <laughs> knock, knock. Hey. Hey, you. He wash his hands that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got your package. It was fun getting a half million dollars in the mail. Less 10%. Why'd you take so little? That's my fee. This isn't a bail bond, Max. I hesitated taking that much. But you earned it. I didn't use you, Max. I didn't say you did. And I never lied to you. I know that. We're partners. I'm 56 years old. I can't blame anybody for anything I do. Where are you going? Spain. Madrid or Barcelona? Mm, Madrid first. Have you been there? I hear they don't eat dinner until midnight. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Are you scared of me? A little bit. I was wondering mm -hmm. if they were going to. Thanks, Mr. Jackie Brown. Should have gone twist something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll send you a postcard. Will you? I sure will, partner. You're running a business, Max. Terry Bailbon, uh, what is it your son's charged with? Drug possession. 80% of the time. 
Oh, is she leaving? Yeah. Man, ain't no shot. She's got better things to yes, do than bill bonding. Very Does his father still live in the house? That's sad the way they chose to, like, separate. <laughs> Doing whatever I had to do to survive. The full circle. You gotta download this on Spotify. Right. It wasn't alright. But hey, she did it though. Mm -hmm. She's running off with the money. I like how they're filming with like this kind of. Well, she's still as sad, is it because she's about to be by herself? Running off all on her own. So that was the end. So we don't get to know if he went with her or any of that. And what did he need 30 minutes for? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I don't what did he need like 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that was Jackie Brown, baby. What did you think about this movie? Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown third it was, movie. It was interesting. Do you like it? Like, um, it was interesting. The time frame was really confusing to me, I guess, because it was like, I don't know. There was a lot of perspectives of the same thing. Well, it was definitely a little harder to follow along. Yeah, but I I, I enjoyed it. Like, I was captivated the whole movie. I love the movie, man. It was basically the story of Jackie Brown. She, man, she went through hard times, you know what I'm saying? But it was basically her come up story. At the end of the day, she was able to double cross a bunch of, I guess, bad actors in a sense. And I guess make off with a little bit of money. And I guess she won a little bit of freedom for herself. So, yeah. Uh, it's good to see, you know, good to see her come through. I'm just glad that she didn't get shot, and I'm glad that she didn't end up doing something that was going to get her locked up. But right. I love the whole scheme. Right. To just double cross everyone. And I don't think she really used that fellow because she was trying to run off with him, Max. Yeah. If she wouldn't have offered to run off with Max, then I'd have felt like maybe he used him. But she he's like, nah, bit, this is what I do. I'm a Bales. Why do you, I'm a Balesman. <laughs> baby, why do you think that he decided not to go in the end? Because that sort of was the cliffhanger to me. I thought. You know, he was simping for her since the beginning. Like, he saw her and was immediately just infatuated. And right. then he had his opportunity and he chose no. Maybe he's just so needed in his town because he got 15000 in a year. Well, yeah, but he was saying he's kind of sick of doing the whole bondsman <laughs> thing. Maybe not that sick. <laughs> maybe he saw her like, maybe he was intimidated. You yeah. Know? Maybe he was intimidated. That's why she asked, like, are you scared of me? Um, and he said. Maybe he was intimidated because... Uh, like when he walks in her apartment, there's just like all this like African art everywhere. And he's yeah. obviously just like an old white dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's just very like, you know, he's leaving the number on the beeper. He's just like a boomer in a sense. So yeah. maybe he was intimidated by her. Maybe he just, maybe he was insecure. You know, maybe he just thought nothing would come of it. Maybe he thought uh, the way you just manipulated everyone scares me. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, maybe you could do the same to me. Right. Um, like I could just be a pawn in your game. Right. Because when when everyone figures out you took the money, which they will find out eventually, then you're going to find a way to blame it on me yeah. and I'm going to be the mastermind behind it and I drug you off here. So which one's your favorite so far? Uh, Reservoir Dogs. I like that one. I really? like that one because that was just something I have to so go with Pulp Fiction on that. Simple about it. Well, I like this movie a lot. Right. I really I did. like this movie too, but out it was of just the a little three, harder Pulp to follow. Fiction's my favorite. I think I, I think the reason I like Reservoir Dogs the most was because the actual like bones of the movie. Like maybe Pulp Fiction was actually I kind of like this. I think I'd rather watch this one again than yeah. Reservoir Dogs because Reservoir Dogs like okay I got it you know yeah um. But that one was just fun in its own type of way. It was just really different. But to yeah. be honest, I really like this one too. I think this was the funniest out of all of them. I thought Samuel L. Jackson was hilarious in this one. This is his best performance, yes. right? I like this character more, for sure. I think of anything Samuel L. I've seen, this is the best. I think Quentin Tarantino's style of like movie production and just the grunginess of it, in a sense, just matches Samuel L. Jackson perfectly. Yeah. He's the perfect character to play these roles. But I didn't see Quentin Tarantino in this, did you? No, no, he wasn't no, in this. No, I don't think he was in that one. Right. Not that I've seen. I look for him because I thought, you know. Yeah, he wasn't in this. Yeah. I thought he would just be making an appearance because he did in the last two. Right. Um, well. But no, I didn't see him. He didn't want to mess around and win a, win a freaking. What is it when an actor wins? An or, Oscar. An Oscar. Yeah. So he didn't want to have too much demand for himself in his own movies. I understand that. <laughs> he probably wanted to be known as a director, not necessarily the best actor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just thought it was a great movie, man. I thought, you know, the way that everything just sort of worked its way out in the end. You know, even with him shooting that girl, what was her name? I wrote it down. It Melanie? Was. Yeah, when he shot Melanie, that really helped Jackie Brown's whole entire like narrative that she had going, but yeah. that was completely unplanned. Yeah, right? it was weird. Right, yeah, but so it all worked out for Jackie Brown, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I really like the music in this. It was funky, right? The music was cool because it, with every character, 
even if the character was plotting something, mm -hmm. they would play like Jackie Brown's music if she did something. Yeah. Or if they like, you know, she they had like a certain rhythm they played when it was her. I think these movies just do a good job of like capturing that stereotypical 80s, 90s bad guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just the constant like just the way I don't know, man. Just Robert De Niro is just like the perfect character to cast is like just like this how do you describe it like almost like the like the greaser type bad guy who's just like he rode a motorcycle I, there that's yeah, the best way to describe no idea, people man. like that yeah i don't know what in the heck quentin tarantino's capturing in these movies maybe it's just the times but i'm here for it right. and it feels like almost nostalgic in a weird way so definitely reminds me of my childhood man just it's kind of like i don't know how to say this without sounding like wrong but it's kind of like redneck culture in a way yeah a little bit yeah it's like they're just doing some whack things like crazy well in a sense it's like the hillbilly biker gang yeah in a sense like just the rampant drug use and the like on gta trevor's everywhere. world like trevor's world on gta for sure yeah I, i've never played gta i know that might come <laughs> as a shock to you guys uh but yeah i've never played it what's the next quentin tarantino movie um kill bill volume one yeah so we got oh there's two yeah oh wow that's interesting so i guess that'll be our first um movie of quentin tarantino where he actually makes like a follow-up movie so that's gonna be interesting right yeah because there's no pulp fiction 2 or anything right um i feel like when we're watching these movies though at the end of the day it's just cool because obviously i've heard of quentin tarantino you know i never realized his movies had such a unique flavor i guess but it's really interesting to see a director's catalog in a way so right you know watching the marvel movies was one thing but there was different directors right. and there was and this different... one has the same style and you can like... yeah see it so this is really going to be the first director that we've actually watched like all of their projects except for them, peter like, jackson really you could say you could say like we watched six peter jackson films have we oh yeah we probably have yeah yeah we didn't watch them in order though so like, we didn't we Lord didn't of the rings and the hobbit well what's cool about quentin tarantino movies though is we're watching them in order so we're seeing like his, his evolution yeah. yeah exactly so um that's pretty interesting if there's any other directors or anything like that that we need to do that with uh please let us know right because it's cool like it is you cool, can yeah. see progression from his first one right so we got tarantino going on right now i know we sort of got some little tom hanks going on because yeah we're doing a bunch of tom hanks movies we're doing them slowly you know we're not trying to binge them all out but yeah we're definitely enjoying some tom hanks when we get a chance yeah and uh adam sandler we've got a couple of his movies at this point so i want to see more adam sandler because right. the dude just makes my face hurt because i crack yeah. up so bad um i guess i missed the whole adam sandler thing me too you know, but that know. was just because like i was into girl movies and i don't know yeah. 51st day so it was about as adam sandler i was willing to go i i love that movie she showed <laughs> me that good. movie go it check it out good. if you guys haven't seen it but that movie was hilarious i don't know how that movie escaped me but anyways thank you guys so much for pulling up hanging out with this man like comment subscribe share the video you know what i'm saying uh hit us up on patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut unedited uncensored because i, I just already know man i'm gonna have to censor these down quentin tarantino has a Man, we should tell for, me how many f bombs next movie. I'm pretty sure he's broken records, you know. Yeah, I mean, we should know. tally it though, and maybe people, other people will, and we can see how many who has the. I'm pretty sure the accurate number. <laughs> if you ask Quentin Tarantino, what is your favorite word? I'm sure it would be a four letter f word of some sort. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So uh, I might have to cut the cussing. Actually, let's just cut the cap. I'm definitely gonna have to cut the cussing. So yes. sorry about that. But um, yeah, man, we'll see you guys on the next one.